Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Dempsey and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Dempsey's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of the leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any slight correction that's needed. And the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on the training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Dempsey's going to come home with his very own training equipment and you're going to be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session. Now Dempsey is sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is simply proper walking on a leash and the command is Dempsey heal. Now at this point, Dempsey has a job to do and that is to maintain pace with Rich when walking. If Rich turns, he should turn. He should always match pace with his trainer, not forging ahead. So that when you're walking with him on the street and the weather's supposed to be getting nicer, you have a well-mannered young man walking by your side and when you stop your feet, whether it's to cross traffic or talk to someone, he is sitting quietly at your left and waiting for his next command. So this is the heel command. Nice automatic sit. And the next exercise that we're going to demonstrate is the sit stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command. And because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one word command. The long sit stay when you're practicing at home can be practiced indoors as well as outdoors. You're going to work up from about 30 seconds to three minutes over time. When Rich returns back to him, he walks quickly counterclockwise around him, returning all the way back to where they started. And you see Dempsey looking up at Rich for his next command and they take off healing again. And practicing these exercises with Dempsey and watching your video is very important to the ultimate success of your program. Stay. Rich leaves him in another sit stay. He walks out to the end of the leash and he turns to face him. And he makes him hold it because this is all about self-control and focus. And this time instead of returning back to him, Rich is going to call him. It's Dempsey calm, happy voice. He said good boy on the way in. Dempsey comes right in and sits. So unlike the typical boxer who likes to come and launch themselves, he's been taught to come and sit nicely in front of you. So nice healing skills, nice gentlemanly walk, nice automatic sits. And don't practice your obedience just when you're outside. Practice indoors as well. Rich leaves him in another sit stay and turns to face him. And he's going to demonstrate that come on command again for you. <laughs> Dempsey's going to return to heel on his own. Dempsey is not your typical overly excited, happy boxer puppy for whatever reason we don't know, but we try to encourage him, praise him. At the same time, he has to know that you're serious. Now the next command is the down from a heel position. So with the dog seated at your left, you use your left open palm straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down and stay. Your long down stay can be practiced right in your living room. When Rich returns back to him again, he walks all the way around him, returning back to his shoulders. When he gets to his shoulders, he stops because at that point, Dempsey expects to get another command. Good boy, bud. <laughs> So always have him seated first, left open palm, straight down toward the ground, the one word command to down and stay. 
and we brought a blanket out for him because it's a little nippy and damp out here but he didn't like the blanket he wanted to do it without the blanket now this time instead of returning back to him rich calls him in good boy and has him sit and then he returns back to heel and back walking along beside his trainer So he's, he's come a long way in the time that he's been with us. And we're going to be answering any questions that you have tomorrow when you come to get him. This time Rich is going to demonstrate the down from a distance. So he's going to leave him in a sit-stay. He's going to turn to face him. This is the only time that you use your right hand to give the command. Now if he doesn't go down, you'll see Rich take a step in. And that wasn't really too bad. He just took a little bit of a step in and told him no and gave him that little gentle correction that we talked about earlier. And he went down. So we have demonstrated for you all of the formal on-leash obedience commands that Dempsey has learned while he's been with us here at school. We will explain everything to you, go over everything with you when you come to get him. He was a little bit of a challenge, but he has really come through. So we're very proud of him. And we want to thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.